بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آل آف یو آر فائن بائی دا گریس آف اللہ ہوپفلی آل آف یو ہیو انڈرسٹوڈ ایوری تھنگ فرام دا ایکسپلینیشن بٹ اسٹل یو ہیو اینی کوائریز یو آر فری ٹو آس دیم بک ورک ہیز بین کمپلیٹیڈ Now you will prepare for the written work of chapter number 4. All work has to be done sequentially. First, you will fill index. After the index, you will be making the title page of the chapter we are doing. After the title page, you will be putting the Center heading of long question answer to be very next page. Then I start question answer. Question number one. Write the difference between solids and liquids. Number one. Solids have definite shape, size and volume. Liquids. Liquids have definite volume. But it takes the shape of the container. Number two. Molecules are closely packed and have no space between them. Liquids. Molecules are not very closely packed and have some space between them. Question number two. How can you change ice into steam? Answer is, when ice is heated, it melts and changes into water by melting. When water is heated, it changes into water vapor, steam by evaporation. Question number three. How is a gas able to spread in all directions? Answer is, Molecules in a gas are placed far apart from each other and have lot of space between them. So they can freely move in all directions. After complete long question answer, you will do short question answer. Putting the heading of short question answers to be very next page. Question number one. What is matter? Anything that has weight and occupies space called matter. Question number two. Why do solid have definite shape and size? Answer is molecules are closely packed. That is why solids have definite shape and size. Question number three. Do molecules in a liquid have more space between them than solids? Answer is yes, molecules in a liquid have more space between them than solids. Question number four. What is solubility? Answer is the ability of solute to dissolve in a solvent is called its solubility. This is the end of the chapter. Hopefully all of you have understood everything. We will meet in your next class with the next chapter. Inshallah. Allah Hafiz.